What's up? I'm going to show you today what I think is my solution to probably what I would say the biggest annoyance of the new Rupes battery operated polishers are. Um, and it's the charging stations. They don't have the ability to have screws to screw onto the wall. So I'm going to show you a little bit about what I did right here. Okay, so you see we got all of our new Rupes polishers. We got two 15s, two uh, 121, a couple of threes, and the mini. And so um, if you've watched my videos for a while, you know we used to run some flex polishers. We had seven flex polishers. And what I had was I had flex polishers mounted on this wood board you see here. And the, or sorry, I had the charging station mounted on that wood board. And the difference between the flex charging stations and the Rupes polishing or charging station is that the Rupes, it doesn't have those little screw holes on the back. It's kind of like picture frames where you can like put just a screw hanging out and you put it in there and you just kind of like lock it into place. The Rupes doesn't have that. It has these little rubber uh, feet on the back and it just sits flush. So I had to find a way to keep them mounted on the wall because I do like this configuration um, better than having it everywhere scattered all over. So I'm going to show you what I did. It's pretty easy. I'll, I'll flash some pictures along the process um, on the screen. So I already had this board. It's like looks like it's like a half inch board. I had cut it some time ago. Um, it's a nice piece of board actually. It's not like cheap plywood or anything. Um, and then I bought these thin metal um, bars at Home Depot. And what I did with these, I bought the, they're like aluminum. They're really easy to drill a hole through and they bend really easily and they can conform to kind of keep these locked into place, a little locking bar. Now I went to Home Depot initially looking for some sort of like hook sort of that would keep it in place. I didn't find anything. So these bars were the best that I could find. You see, I have like a, like a wider bar here and then narrower bars down here. And then I just painted everything flat black. I used three and a half inch T25 Torx screws and they go in and this is screwed into a stud in the wall. Uh, but this is held on pretty tight, but not so tight to damage um, the polisher. And then what I had to do on these two, I had to, I put screws into the board, the equidistant sticking out because see the polisher is slanted. So without that screw on the rubber foot, this would kind of bounce up and down no matter how much I tightened. I mean, I probably could have tightened it, but I didn't want to crack the housing of the polisher. So this is in there pretty tight, but not so tight that it would damage the polisher uh, charging station. 